How's it going today? Um, today I wanted to go through a deck review with you. Um, now this is one actually, it's funny because it seems to be kind of hot lately. I don't know, maybe it's just me though. I just keep stumbling on this video, like multiple people doing the review for this deck. Um, but yeah, it's kind of weird because I've seen a lot of people do them <laughs> more recent. Um, lately than it has been in the previous past. So uh, today I actually am going to review the Messenger's Oracle um, by Ravine Phelan. Hmm. I'm thinking Ravine Phelan. I Sorry if I'm botching your name. <laughs> um, it's a Blue Angel uh, publication and um, comes in a really nice sturdy box and yeah just kind of basic yellow but it's something that you could definitely keep your cards in if you wanted to uh, it would keep them safe and it wouldn't totally wreck the box like it's not one of those flimsy ones so that's good now the funny thing with this deck is i uh, <laughs> originally i ordered the deck and i was thinking for the shop I've always wanted this deck ever since like the very beginning um, and yeah I uh, <laughs> I I ended up ordering the the deck on Amazon when the package came came in uh, <laughs> I ended up getting a surprise <laughs> because I didn't order the deck I ordered a book <laughs> it's called messengers um, an oracle book for connecting with the magic of the universe. <laughs> so look at this. It's like a squishy, one of those kind of squishy kind of books. And it's, you know, it's sturdy. Uh, and it's like blown up images from the messenger oracle. So I thought this was hilarious because I got this book. Now they left out, okay. They left out some of the cards in this, so that kind of pissed me off. Like, for instance, the owl. <laughs> but, so, I got this, and that was kind of a huge surprise, because I'm like, oh, crap, now I have to order the cards on top of having this book. And I was thinking, oh, man, like, that's going to be not the easiest sell. And I figured, you know what, this is just going to end up becoming my book now. <laughs> and, and my cards, because... Yeah, I've always wanted it. And so it was kind of like a blessing to get this book in a sense, because otherwise I would have had the, the deck for sale. And I've always wanted this, um, this deck, but I feel guilty because I have so many decks already. Um, yeah, they left out this card too, uh, as well as one with the ladybug but it's a cool book the only problem is sorry I'm like all scattered today I hope I'm you can follow me <laughs> um the problem with this is I was thinking that this book would be something more than you know like extra words almost like what the you know, the guidebook for the wild unknown, like they give you the sheet and it just gives you a few words. And, and when you get the guidebook, you get a little bit more. Um, well, this isn't that, this is just a fancier book of the guidebook. The, this is the guidebook that comes with the deck. And this is like the, uh, extra book. But the only problem is, is because they missed out the cards, there, like there's like three at least cards that are missing from this book um, so like even if you wanted to use it as a guidebook well you're still like missing like three cards so that's kind of like silly as far as I'm concerned and the messages are exactly the same so uh, the only thing that's different is these are in color and they're beautiful and blown up and everything so you get a nice blown up image um, and the book, the guidebook that comes with the deck, it's just like a black and white. But all this information that's right here is all the same. So that was kind of disappointing. This book, the guidebook that comes with the deck is 75 pages. And, uh, 
It comes with a few spreads. Um, there's the two there, and there's one other that I'm kind of interested in trying is the Gaia tree spread. So that that sounds like kind of a neat one. The um the information for each card is quite nice. Uh, I might do an example <clears throat> of one as we go. The here is the deck. This is the the card backing. It's a little bit glossy as you can see. And I was when I first opened these up, I was a little bit disappointed because the other Blue Angel deck I had there, oh uh, gosh, what was it called? Sacred Rebels Oracle. Um, the glossiness did not restrict the cards in the shuffle, like like when you're... But these ones are more like the Marielle where it, it sticks just a tiny bit. So that's unfortunate because, you know, it's just kind of like, it's not super smooth. It's like kind of a little bit rougher. There's like a, a, a restriction. So that sucks. Now I gilded mine. Like I, I put, um, I have a, here, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have a oil-based Sharpie pen that's metallic gold. And so I put that on the edges because I thought, oh man, it, I didn't really like the white. It comes white. And so that's what I did. I put that on there and I think it, it just looks awesome. Like my husband saw it and he was like, oh wow, I totally uh, <laughs> thought it came that way. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that was me. So here's one of the images that doesn't come in that squishy book I showed you. Um, so we have Surrender to the Flow. And maybe I'll choose one of these and I'll read from the guidebook just to give you kind of a, a sense of what the... Um, the, like the messages are uh, in the guidebook but of course like the artwork in this deck is just stunning um, I think like most people who are attracted to this deck were attracted to this image the owl which they left out of the squishy book <laughs> like if you're gonna do something extra make sure it's going going a little extra right not taking away that's so silly so I wasn't impressed. I still like the book though. And it gives a nice blown up image. Like like the images in this book are bigger than they are on the cards. So you get like a larger image of, of the artwork, which is really gorgeous artwork. I'm not gonna show all these cards. Like there are lots of reviews, but I wanted to kind of um, express some of my ups and downs about it. Um, I could see this deck pairing really well for, like I've worked with it for a little bit now. It would pair really well with tarot um, as a side kind of oracle deck where you're just getting some extra messages to go along with the reading. For me, I don't know if I would base like a whole reading. I don't think I would. Uh, I wouldn't base a whole reading off of just using these cards. Um, because a lot of them are more just like on that spiritual expansion kind of, um, area. So, you know, the tarot, that's what's so awesome about the tarot is it kind of talks about more like the, the everyday like happenings of what's going on, you know, in that person's life. So I really like that. Here, let's do... We'll do this next one. This is a really gorgeous card. I like this one. Ah, it's sticking out. Not really. It's just having a hard time opening. Okay, so I'm going to read this one. See the signs? Because it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. I love the crackling look on here too. Um, that It kind of carries through from the back to the front borders. And I don't mind these borders. You know, when it comes to oracle cards, I don't mind them at all. Um, tarot, I find it matters. Okay, so I wonder if I'll be able to find it in the big squishy. Oh, I've just passed it. Okay. All right, so we got our big squishy book, and you can see. Okay, see the signs. Maybe I'll hold up the card while I read it. There you go. 
We are often sent small signs in the form of synchronicities and coincidences. Be watchful. Do not overlook them in the everyday rush of life. Words, numbers, and symbols that repeat. Animals and birds that appear on your path. People who come in and out of your life at odd or similar moments. And those flashes of knowing when you believe something will happen with every fiber of your being. These are all things that you are meant to see and hear. Messages from Gaia and Great Spirit sent to aid your journey. So it's really nice messages. Um, well written. Um, very direct to the point, you know. Uh, for me, when we get really, really wordy, I kind of actually get lost in it. And I just kind of, um, my attention goes. It's just kind of funny. Um, that's what happened with the Sacred Rebels. I'd read like the very first uh <laughs> like first paragraph maybe two and I kind of got the gist of it and like the rest of like because it's got a really long um guidebook the rest of the the written up <laughs> part of it I just kind of went <laughs> yeah sorry for the glare there's kind of a bit of a glare going on with this because uh, of the lamination this is a gorgeous one you were born to create I love that one I just got that one yesterday So it's a really, really good companion deck. It's a good deck for just like daily draws, um, for if you need a pick me up and you're feeling kind of low, I've been finding, um, well, the past couple days I've had like kind of ups and downs. Just, I don't even know why it's like weird. <laughs> I don't know if it's hormonal or something. I don't know what, but, um, yeah, it's just weird ups and, ups and downs for no reason. But, um, I found this deck really uh, lifted me up, helped boost my spirits, and uh, it definitely read well for what I was feeling in the moment. Um, so it's good. Like, and even a three card spread. I even did a five card spread with this one, you know, and and it was kind of like that um, within and without spread that people were doing with the Marielle. I, I did that with this. So that was three cards. And then I put um, a top, what I already know, like above the spread on top. Um, and then the bottom of the shuffle part, uh, what is hidden, what I don't realize. So, so there it is. That is the Messenger Oracle deck. It is beautiful. Uh, I didn't go through the cardstock. It's very sturdy, very nice. And it actually does a really good shuffle. So um yeah so if you want to bridge it you can and it's not going to hold you back from that so it's not like too thick i hope you guys are all well and have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later bye bye